Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA Specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I want to introduce you to the concept of the project library and global library within the Siemens HMI. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the far right hand side of the screen, there are the task cards. One of the task cards is called library, so I'm going to select libraries. When that opens up, you're going to see there's two types of libraries that are available. There is the project library, that is up in this area, and then there's the global libraries, which is down in this area. The project library are any objects that you want to put in the library that you want to go along with the project for reuse later. So basically, objects that you put in the project library stay with the project library when you give the project to somebody else. Global libraries are independent of the actual project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the project libraries. Under project libraries, we have this area called master copies. In this area, this is where we can drag and drop um, items from our project. So in my application, as an example, I created a green pump and a yellow pump. So if I want to store one of these objects in the project library, all I have to do is drag it into master copies. And that will create an object in here called green pump. I'll drag one more over. I'll drag the yellow one. That would give me the yellow pump. In the project library, you do have the ability to organize your objects as well. So I can right click on projects library and say add folder. And I'll create one and I'll call it my pumps. And then what I can do is I can highlight the two pumps that I brought in and then drag those into the folder. So now I have a way to organize the objects that are in my library as well. If I want to use one of these um, objects from the project library in my project, all I have to do is click on it, and drag, and drag that into my actual application. So this is the project library concept. The next thing I want to show you is the global libraries. That is in this section down below. Siemens does provide you with a couple of global libraries where you can use or that you can use in your project uh, so that you can start uh, grabbing you know, various types of objects and bring them into your project for your use. So I'm going to expand out buttons and switches as an example. Then there's the category master copies. And then you have a whole series of categories of objects that are available to you. So I'm going to go into um, the push button switches as an example. And then there's a push button switch down here, which is the push button green. So I'm going to drag that out onto my screen. And so this is a predefined object um, that I can use in my application. So it's got some nice graphics already created for us. So if I look at the general properties of this, you can see the graphic objects over here are created. Over here, I can select my process tag, and I'll just assign it to the bit one tag. So I've got the ability to see that status change up here as well. So that's, these are push button switches. Now I'll minimize that and I'll move over to pilot lights. And as an example, you know, there's a variety of different pilot lights that are available. Here's one that's the pilot light square underscore G for green. So I'll drag that into my particular project as well. Again, get some nice graphics. I will browse for my tags, the bit underscore one that's tied to uh, the push button switch here would be tied to that same object. So these objects are you know, available for use in your applications. So I'll minimize uh, the buttons and switches library and I'll move over to monitoring and control objects. Again, expand out master copies and there's different design styles so there's a different look and feel. So I'll go down to design five as an example. And then here is, um, this is like a gauge object. So what I can do is you know, drag out this particular drag up or um, gauge object on the screen. And so this is already you know, predefined you know, for me. In terms of you know, editing the individual properties of the, um, you know, the library object, I can go in because this is just a group. So I can go into the gauge area and look at the general properties. So over here, I've got my word underscore one tag that goes zero to 100. Maybe I want to reflect that in this gauge. So I can change my maximum value to 100. And then I'll come over to my process tag here, and I will select my word underscore one tag. So that's a sign. Now the scale um, gradation here is in large increments of 25. Um, maybe I'll change that down to 10. And so now I've got a little bit more you know, finer uh, labeling uh, concept uh, being implemented. So this is just using the meter uh, control. If I also go into um, Design 5, there's also uh, buttons and switches over here. So I also have, you know, say if I wanted to do a pilot light, I could drag out a pilot light switch as an example and you know, put that out onto my screen. 
and then here I could assign it to the same tag. So these are just you know predefined objects you know with graphic images that are available you know for your use. So I'll save my project at this point. So I was using existing uh, global libraries at this point. I didn't use the project library and I added some objects in, but I also have the ability to create my own library. So in this case, if I, you know, I can just use the default name here, you know, library one, but I could call it whatever, you know, your company library, and that's going to be stored in a different location independent of the project. So I'll select create. This will create the library, and so here's my library. If I expand out master copies, um, you know, this is where I can you know, put in my elements. So as an example, if I wanted to take you know, this green pump, put that into my master copies area for this library, I can certainly do that. And so now that is in my actual library. When you right click on a library, you have the ability to save it, save as. Okay. You also have the ability to create an archive, you know, so an archive of the library. So if you want to distribute it to somebody else, you can create a compressed library and then give that to somebody. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to select my HMI and I'm going to start the simulation. So this will start compiling my project. And the runtime starts. I'll go to my library test screen. And now here I can press these individual buttons. Okay. So these are my pilot lights. You can see the status. If I move my slider, you can see you know, the gauge update as well. So in this lesson, I showed you how to use the project library as well as the global library.